Good morning. I'm Travis Guillory. And I'm Corey Duke. And here are your top stories from Two Works for You. The 18 year old girl accused of threatening a mass shooting at McAllister High School remains in jail this morning. The arrest report says Alexis Wilson had previously been suspended for bringing a knife to school and later for having swastika symbols on some of her personal belongings. Gas prices were up since the weekend following attacks on Saudi Arabia's oil production. The average price in the Tulsa Metro is sitting at 228 right now. That's 11 cents higher than it was on Sunday. But experts say we're more energy independent these days and we have more than enough supply in the reserves. And the city of Tulsa is celebrating 918 Day today with plenty of deals and discounts. Mayor GT Bynum started it last year to bring the city together. There are deals on food and merchandise all across the city. You'll find the updated list of participating stores on the free to works for you app. Now let's get a check of today's forecast for a meteorologist, Clint Boone. Thank you very much, Travis and Corey. Mild conditions for this hump day morning. Temperatures starting off into the 70s by lunchtime, already upper 80s. And temperatures back in the 90s this afternoon. Heat index could be near 100. Now as we look at the forecast tomorrow, much the same low 90s. But we start to see more clouds and also chances for some rain, a few thunderstorms. Friday afternoon, Friday night. Scattered showers and storms Saturday. Again, not as hot. Chances for rain for Sunday, mainly late Sunday night, and then heading into Monday, that first day of fall, slight chance for showers with temperatures in the 80s. All right, thank you, Clint, and thank you for joining us on this digital news update. Keep checking back for updates all throughout the day. And be sure to join Karen Larson and Mike Brooks tonight at 5, 6, and 10 on Two Works for You.